in this exercise pairing, you'll see um, putting together a narrow, kind of angled neutral grip cable uh, bicep curl with bent over one arm concentration curls, kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger style. And I really like this combination to warm up my biceps and get a workout started. The cable curls are purposely kept uh, shorter range of motion, kind of the top three quarter range of motion. And with that angled inward narrow grip, you're gonna pump up the inside head of the bicep. Then when you go do the heavy concentration curls, that actually stretches open that pump so you can actually get more muscle damage without requiring heavy weight. This is a great way to grow your biceps without causing a lot of stress to the tendons and connective tissue. So I have a partial tear in my right bicep tendon. However, using this techniques, I'm still able to put up over a 19 inch arm just by being smart about the combination of exercises I use. In this, after getting a pump with the first kind of superset, I went to my heavier bicep work, which for me, for this workout, was a neutral uh, alternating hammer grip curl. And I like doing these because the neutral grip protects that bicep tendon tear that I have, plus it also connects in the forearm muscles, so that way you can get bigger biceps like upper arms, but also get bigger forearms. I like doing these alternating because it allows me to better balance the weight as the weight is shifting from kind of beside me to out in front of me. Rather than doing both dumbbells at the same time, it kind of would rock your body forward and backward, and you don't get as good a form. So alternating can help you better balance balance your position and get better isolation of the biceps. Also doing it this way in this hand position allows you to do heavier weight than if you would normally do palms up. So this is a good overload stimulus but still protective on your connective tissue. And then to finish out the bicep portion of the workout, I did a standing uh, kind of cambered bar, easy curl bar connector on our cable station. And if you notice that these, I'm doing a little kind of like bounce at the bottom. I like doing that when I have a good pump in the muscle because it helps me kind of get a rhythm to the movement. And I feel like it kind of gives me a bit of momentum out of the weakest position, which allows me to use kind of heavier weight or longer time or tension than if I were to be super strict. And at this point in the workout, I've already done the strict work. So this is a good kind of like finisher kind of blood flow, get a really good pump, good burn, and kind of finish off whatever muscles are left uh, fresh in the biceps. So this is a really neat kind of, again, safe way on the connective tissue to really finish off the biceps. So I usually do these really high volume, so well over a minute, sometimes two to even three minute sets. It's a really good finisher to flush out the muscle. Here you can see me doing the first tricep exercise of the workout and I'm doing really really high rep uh, rope grip tricep press downs. I love these because I also mix in with my bodybuilding work very heavy powerlifting work. So that includes very heavy bench presses. So sometimes the really heavy bench presses can cause kind of imbalances and tightnesses in the uh, connective tissue into the elbow. So doing really high volume like one to two minute sets of press downs really helps to kind of flush out the elbow joint and help to kind of reset any kind of tight muscles and get um, all the musculature of the elbow kind of balanced out for the remainder of the workout. This is a really really good way to reduce uh, tricep tendonitis in related to your arm workouts so just start with a couple light sets really really high volume of tricep press downs and that'll aid in making the workout feel safer and less injury here you can see the superset that I used to kind of finish off the triceps. This was actually the main work. So the pump work kind of got me warmed up, got a big pump in there, a lot of blood flow. Then this was my quote unquote heavier work. So I did dumbbell rolling tricep extensions. These are a little bit friendlier on the elbow connective tissue than traditional skull crushers. I do mix in traditional skull crushers, but I'll also throw these in as well. So just two days ago, I really I did really heavy bench press speed work. So this was a good way for me to still get tricep 
tricep work in, but not overload that uh, connective tissue. Then moving on to the dip machine, I kept a shortened range of motion just into the triceps. I didn't let my chest get involved. And this again was a really good way to isolate the triceps without using a ton of weight to injure the uh, connective tissue. And it helped get a lot of blood flow again through the musculature. So it's not always about heavy weight as much as just targeting the tissue and keeping constant tension, constant annoyance into the tissue, not the joints.